we're putting porcelain casting slip into the jugs. So we're giving all the, the kids a different door handle to cast. So there's 19 designs. So we've got 10 children there just doing different designs. It's beautiful. It looks like fresh cream, doesn't it? It does. It, does. it is quite beautiful and it's nice to put your fingers in so the kids have had a good play in it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a surprise. Describe what you've just been doing then. We've been making um, doorknobs. You get the mould and you pour the split into it and then you wait for it to dry and then you pour it out and then you put it on the rack. And do you know which ones are going to be your door handles? Yeah, because we write down our numbers on a sheet of paper. What about you? What are you enjoying? I'm really excited to see the, what my doorknob's going to be like. So you don't know what design you've made yet? But they're going to the Ludlow Fringe Festival, so then you can see them there. You pour the porcelain in the thing, in, the, in your um, mould, and it, you pour it back out and then leave it on the rack. And I'm not sure what happens next, because I forgot, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rick, what a fun way to spend an afternoon. What have you enjoyed most? Uh, having time off lessons. <laughs> <laughs> that is so naughty. Actually, this is a lesson, isn't it? Well, but it's, it's fun. It's better than maths. OK, so the ones that we've just we cast on the first round, you can, you can, take, you can pick up. So just pick up one ten. piece each. So all I'm going to do, because remember it's a three-part mould, so we're going to just turn it over. And I'm just going to take the two rubber bands off the pieces. No, if you just wait a second, and then we can, you can do it all together in a minute. And I'm just going to, basically, you need to make sure the number is facing <coughs> upwards. Okay, that's the first thing. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lift off the top of the plaster mould, okay? So you just want to leave it on its side in the mould to let it dry a little bit more. But basically, that's it. That's how you make your door handle. Have a go. See what you've got. Obviously, when you just cast them, they're, um, they've still got a lot of water in them. And what happens over the next sort of 24 hours, that water will dry out, evaporate out of the clay, which will make them go a bit smaller. Yeah. But then when you put them in the kiln, that happens again, and they, get, um, they really oh, shrink. So if you look yeah. at this piece, look, yeah. and then you look at that one, look at the difference in size. Mine's massive. It's, it's quite a yeah, lot smaller, isn't it? Mine's massive. It is, but it will still shrink though by yeah. quite, quite. Come and show me which is yours. Um, I've got one of the ones that's patterned with the stripes going down it, and then one of the diamond ones. How beautiful! Are you pleased with your work? Um, yeah. But which one did you make? I also had a diamond one like Jonah, and then I had another one that was kind of shaped like a light bulb. Has it made you start to look at door handles as you go down the street? Have you stopped to look now? Well, I might now, but I haven't before. Opens up a whole new world, doesn't it? Yeah, of doorknobs. <laughs> yeah.